If you clicked on this video, chances are you're probably down and out. You fell into a hole where the ground is pitch black and all of your setbacks keeps you down. You're probably sick and tired of where you are right now and you desperately want something to happen that could change it all. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm sure as hell don't want to wait down here forever. It's time for you to look up, to stand up, to improve yourself and make the greatest comeback of your life in 2024. And in this video, I'll explain how you can do just that. But before I do, I'm gonna be honest here. The journey ahead is going to be rough for you. You're going to encounter more setbacks than rewards before you make your comeback. But if you choose to keep going, you'll achieve something that's going to make all those setbacks worth it. With that being said, let's begin. First off, you're gonna have to figure out where you're going and you can do this by setting the goals that you want to achieve in your comeback journey. And if you want to make a great comeback, your goals have to be challenging. A challenging goal has to dance between the lines of possible and impossible. Having one should make you ask yourself whether you're up for the task, but if it doesn't, then it's a goal that's too easy to achieve. But why should it be challenging? Well, a goal that's challenging is going to bring a lot more satisfaction compared to an easy one. Not only that, but during your journey in achieving that goal, you're also going to be gaining more experience, knowledge, and skill. For example, let's compare two goals, one easy and one challenging. The easy one is going to be gain 5 kilograms of weight in 6 months, while the challenging one is gain 10 to 12 kilograms of weight in 6 months. Both goals have the same time frame, but the challenging one needs you to gain an extra 5 kilogram. The goal that's challenging is going to stimulate your brain to come up with ways to achieve the goal, while the easy one is going to make you lazy. This is why you would gain and develop more things by having a goal that's challenging. After setting the challenging goals, now I need you to shut the fuck up and work. Most people share their New Year's resolutions to social media and to their friends, but you are not most people and you shouldn't share your goals with others. Sharing and talking about your goals is going to make you feel great in the short term, because usually people are going to be supportive and positive about it. Hearing their response is going to increase your dopamine levels and you're probably going to be chasing this feeling by sharing to more people and eventually you're not gonna get shit done at all. However, there's one exception to this, and that is if you share with only a handful of people that you 100% believe could help you achieve your goal. For example, if you aim to win a bodybuilding competition, you can share your goal to your personal trainer so that they can help train you better to achieve your goal. Otherwise, if you're just sharing your goals with other people just so that they can praise you, you'd be better off not talking about them. So if you actually want to make the greatest comeback of your life, you're gonna need to shut up and work. Now when you're working on your goals, chances are you're going to meet some resistance. It's not a secret that working towards something that's worthwhile is going to bring some problems, setbacks, or more shit that would slow or stop you in your journey. You can't avoid this no matter what and all you can do is to deal with them. No shortcuts, no easy solutions. If you're scared or you feel like you can't deal with them, you're going to have to create a version of yourself that's not scared and can deal with all the bullshit that's thrown your way. Now how exactly can you do that? Well first, you have to visualize a version of yourself that's capable of doing the things that the current you is scared of doing or don't think you can handle. Once you have that clear in your head, you're going to play as that character while working towards your goal. Now you might be thinking, but wait, that's not me, I can't do those things. You're right, that's not you, but you can become that character. You see, right now, you're probably thinking like that because you're only seeing what you are now and not what you can be. The person you are today is obviously different to the one you want to be. But if you only look to the current version of yourself, your brain won't try and come up with a plan to get you to become the person you want to be. Now I don't know if you know this, but our brains are really powerful. So if you start seeing yourself as the person you want to be, your brain is going to help you figure out the ways for you to become that person. And this is something that I learned from a great book called The Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Swartz. I totally recommend this book if you're interested in getting your brain to work for you. Now, however, there are going to be times when your brain is going to work against you, if you let it. During your journey of making a comeback, there are going to be moments where you're going to have to perform without motivation. Because motivation can make you feel good and powerful when it's there, but when it's not there, your brain might convince you to take a break, slow down, play some games and whatnot. Now taking a break and slowing down is obviously going to ruin your momentum. And momentum is something that's very precious in making your comeback. 
Because if you lose it, it's going to be very hard for you to start it again. This is where discipline comes in handy. To me, discipline is a set of strict rules that you set for yourself and that you're going to follow no matter what. For example, if you want to have discipline in going to the gym, you're gonna have to create some rules that includes the days when you're going to go, the times, the exercise that you have to perform, and so on. And again, you have to follow these rules without a second thought. So no rain is gonna stop you, working out alone not gonna stop you, nothing should stop you. Being strict with yourself is a must if you want to keep your momentum, to have discipline, and to make the greatest comeback of your life. Doing all these things that I've said so far can help you make the greatest comeback of your life, but it's all on you. I can't hold your hand for too long and guide you exactly where you need to go. So this journey belongs to you and you alone. And whatever decisions you take or the sacrifices you made are yours. Know that you can involve other people to be in your journey, but ultimately you're gonna be the one who's gonna take the actions and be the main character in your story. So from this point forward, you decide what's best for you, for your comeback journey, and how your story ends. Don't end it by saying, I wish I could've, or I regret not doing. End it with, I did all that I could and I lived the life I dreamed of. With the year just getting started, it's time for a new dawn, a new beginning. And if you've been down since last year, it's time to make the climb and begin your journey. Your journey of making the greatest comeback of your life. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you could push that like button and write down your goals for 2024. One of my goals this year is to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you're interested in improving yourself both mentally and physically, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And as always, stay awesome.